I've always said that Hamilton are a gateway drug into watch collecting. They're good looking, they're well made, usually you can get a mechanical one for a very good price, and of course, they're affordable. However, just saying that they're a gateway drug into watch collecting isn't fair to the brand. They have an incredible history, they've made it into many movies, lots of different celebrities wear them. Indiana Jones currently wears one in his latest movie, and then of course, Elvis wore one, so there are tons of really good reasons why even a seasoned collector would like Hamilton. Today we're taking a look at a Jazzmaster. It's their latest chronograph in the Jazzmaster line. It's called the Performer, and I've never really liked the Jazzmaster line up until now. Let's flip the camera and take a look at the newest Jazzmaster, the Performer chronograph. Well, this is a really good looking watch. Hamilton did a great job on the design of this watch. A lot of people think it looks like a Daytona. There's good reason for that. There's a few design elements that are very similar to early 2000s Daytonas, and we'll go through that in just a minute. This was lent into the channel by Saltzman's. They are an authorized dealer of Hamilton and a number of other brands. If you're interested in this watch or really any watch, check out their website. I will put a link to their website down in the description below. So this is around a 42 millimeter watch. If you measure it at the case, it's over 42 millimeters. If you measure it at that bezel, that is a steel bezel with a tachometer on it, and it is filled with blue numerals that match that dial. If you measure it there, it's just over 41 millimeters. So it's sort of in between. It looks like a 42 millimeter watch. You do have a pretty big lug span. It's around 50.3, so just over 50 millimeters, and it's just over 15 millimeters thick, so it's 15.1 millimeters thick, including the sapphire crystal on the front and back. Very large crown, 7.3 millimeters, so it's a very big crown, very easy to use. It is a push-pull crown. It is not screwed in. However, you do get 100 meters of water resistance. That's including the see-through case back with a sapphire crystal, so that is very good. You have a beautiful blue dial on here. This is a sunburst dial, so it sort of radiates from the center of the dial. You have applied indices, and then you have a metallic minute track that looks fantastic, and it's all laid out really nicely. And then you have these sub-dials, very similar to those 2000 Daytonas. You have a silver track and then blue in the center. Uh, it looks very similar sort of layout to what you would have gotten from a Daytona. Those have a circular pattern. So you have a circular pattern, not only on that blue portion, but also that silver portion. Of course, it says Hamilton up at the top. You have an applied H logo, their vintage logo, and it says automatic below Hamilton. That's really it. It does say Swiss made down at the bottom of the dial. And that's really all the writing on the dial. You have a rally strap on here. So it's a perforated blue leather strap. And then you have a tan liner on it. And then a double deployant buckle, a very hefty buckle on here, very nicely finished, signed Hamilton. Uh, obviously it's brushed and polished. So uh, finished very similar to the case. And speaking of the case, you have brushing and polishing, uh, brushing primarily on the sides and then polishing on those pushers. There's some nice polished edges. You have a little bit of a polish on that H. Uh, on the crown, the crown is really nicely finished as well, very easy to operate. Both sides of the watch are really nicely finished and you can see sort of have a telescoping case, which I really like. And then you have a pusher here that is for the date. Speaking of the date, you do have a date right between the four and five o'clock position, but it is color matched. It kind of blends in with the dial really well. So uh, I don't think it's that bad. Typically I would not like a date, but they decided to put a date on here. Obviously uh, very useful for a lot of people, just not myself, but there you go. Uh, I do want to mention this gets 60 hours of power reserve, which is very good as well. Uh, and again, based on the Value 7750, you do have a custom rotor on here. It's Hamilton's sort of custom rotor. And then of course the bridges are signed with the Hamilton H right there. Another watch that was lent in to the channel by Saltzman. This one is a Tissot. This is the 35 millimeter version of the Tissot PRX with the Powermatic 80 in all gold. Uh, and I recently did a video for this. Really a very cool watch. Uh, I haven't been wearing it because it is their watch and uh, obviously I don't wear those watches, but I just have it on wrist for this video. Well, there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see the 50 millimeter lug span doesn't bother me because I have a 
pretty large wrist, seven and a half inch wrist. Uh, it is a 42 millimeter watch. I think it looks very at home on my wrist. The thickness, it doesn't sit very thick on the wrist. It's a 15 millimeter thick watch. However, because it sort of telescopes, it doesn't really sit that thick on my wrist. It almost sits as if this was maybe a 13 millimeter watch, which is pretty good. It actually looks really good, uh, very comfortable. Price on this watch is, I believe, around $2,195 in the United States. And that's what uh, I believe Salzman is selling this for as well. I think it's a really good looking watch that has a little bit of a Daytona flair to it, but it's definitely not an homage to the Daytona. But there you go. There is a pretty good amount of loom on the hands and indices. It's nothing crazy, but this is more of a dressy chrono. No loom on the second hand. I like to see that there's a little bit of loom on the second hand usually, just so that I know it's working in the dark. Other than that, no complaints. A very good looking chronograph with a really solid movement and looks that are being compared to the Daytona, which obviously is not bad. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of its comparison to the Daytona? Do you think it's justified? Tell me what you think. Uh, please also don't forget to check out Salzman. I will put a link to their website down in the description. If you're interested in this watch or the Tissot that I had on earlier, really any watch, check out their website. They have tons of watches on their website and they're an authorized dealer for a number of brands. Uh, check them out and tell them Watch Chris sent you. Anyway guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.